Hey there, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can start using Acuity Scheduling to automate your call scheduling platform. It is a really easy setup and this video will help you to get started. So let's get into it. Also, if you'd like to watch more videos on how to use marketing tools, business systems, automation and just everything about online marketing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. Let's get into it. Let's get started uh, with the Acuity platform. So if you don't have an account on the platform, you can just click on try it now and create an account. It is free to get started and I still use the free account for my business. So you can definitely use a lot of features on the free account. So I'm just gonna go ahead and log in. Now, when you start using Acuity and wanna set it up for the first time, there are two main things that you need to do. You need to basically create an appointment type and you need to set up your availability. So you can have multiple appointment types in your uh, platform or on, on your account. And the reason for that is, for example, maybe you're using uh you equity to help your clients book calls or you're using this platform to book free sales calls right and each of those types will be different appointments you can't send the same link to both people if you can you can if you know the the amount of time you're spending on call with them is the same but generally if a client is booking a call with you it would generally be like a 30 to 60 minute call whereas if you're uh, getting on a sales call that would probably be like 20 to 30 minutes right so that's why we need different appointment types so when you go to this homepage uh, back here on this dashboard, you'll see appointment types here and you just have to click on that and you can create a new type of service right here. Now I have a lot of them already created, but just for the purpose of this video, I will create a test service. You can name it whatever, right? So if it's a sales call, you can name it sales call so that you know uh, which, which uh, call this is and you can use the relevant link. So I would just set this to 15 or 20 minutes, depending on what you use. Now this is a free call, so it's gonna be $0. You can also set up a category if you want, you can create new categories. You can add a picture relevant to only this call if you'd like. And if you can keep the access to public and private. I generally use public access for sales calls so that someone can, you know, uh, find this link and book a call and they don't necessarily have to ask for permission to book a free sales call and then I'll just go ahead and create the appointment type. So now that appointment is created, you can see it right here. Now when you want to share the link for this particular appointment, you can just click on direct scheduling link and you'll find this link here. So this is the link. You can also customize the link. So you could call this sales call. I'll just add this. Now this is a link, you can just copy link address and share it with whoever wants to book a call with you. So this is the first part. Now you have your appointment type. Similarly, you could create an appointment type for your clients. So it could be a client call. I'm just gonna call this test. You could add the duration and all of those things. So I'm just gonna go back and not save this. And the second part, the main part is availability. So you want to add your availability according to when you take calls or which days uh, you reserve for getting on calls. So you can add that availability here. You could add different uh, availability for different appointment types, but generally I, I just uh, set availability overall in my calendar and depending on what appointment type someone has booked they would get uh, they would be indicated whether you know i'm available for 60 minutes at that particular time or not so here i'm you can just go in click in and just say uh 1 30 p.m to 6 30 p.m and just click on set hours so the hours are saved and if you want to set these hours for all Sundays, you can click on uh, until end date and just add 31st. So then you'll see on all Sundays, these hours would be saved. So you can see all Sundays have this uh, time saved. So similarly, you can set the same for Monday, Wednesday. 
if you want to show no availability you don't have to do anything if there is no time available here it'll just give them no availability so that's how you set your hours you can also add a new calendar for example if you want to uh, allow your clients to book calls on a different day you would just add a calendar here and it and again this is a premium feature so i like i said i use the free plan so because free plan has almost everything you would need especially if you're just getting started so let's uh, say um, this appointment type, right? You can set availability separately by creating a new group. And again, this if you're using a paid account, you can definitely do that because this feature is available only on the paid account. But like I said, you can totally go in. And so for example, if someone tried to book a call with me at 6 p.m., uh, Acuity will tell them that I don't have an availability for 60 minutes because I'm available only till 6.30 p.m. So that's all automated. You don't really need to do, uh, you know, make any changes or if someone books a call, you're not available, you would want to cancel the call. If you've added your availability according to the times you're available, it's all automated. If uh, someone's trying to book a call at a time when you're not available, this platform won't let them book the call. So you just have to set these two things up before you can get started. Of course, there are more things that you can do. For example, you can set up intake form questions. Again, that is available only on the paid plan. The other thing that is kind of important is uh, uh, just like your scheduling page options. You could uh, actually appearance is basically not something there's another thing that you can do uh, which i'm trying to find which is basically um adding your uh, like your logo and stuff like that so uh, you can also uh, get on paid calls through acuity but again that is available only on the paid plan so if i go to my account so you can add colors here so you know if your brand colors you can basically customize uh, the look according to your brand colors if either of these are your brand colors i'll just keep it blue um again like i am on the free plan you could decide to get on the paid plan if you want to use some advanced features uh but i think for me uh the free plan works fine under email settings so when someone books a call with you they will get an email that their appointment has been scheduled you can go in here and you can edit if you need if you you know if you want to add like a personal message you could add that here like for example this to say thank you your appointment has been successfully scheduled looking forward to our call you could change that and then you could save that as a template of course follow up uh, or um, reminders are not sent on on the free plan and i do that using sapir but again you know you can do that manually especially if you're just getting started and if you don't have as many calls booked but again just so you know the the reminder feature is only available on the paid plan so this is about it like i said for getting started if you need something to you know just get started today there are two things you need to set up one is your appointment type and one and the other is the availability once you've done that you can totally go ahead and share the link with your uh, prospects or clients so under appointment types you would just go here click on direct scheduling link and copy this link and share it with whoever wants to book a call with you that's it and they'll be shown your availability and based on that they can then go ahead and book the call i hope this makes sense if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comments below i'd happy to respond to your questions also if you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so that you're notified every time i put up a new video that's it for this video i will see you in the next video Bye bye